What up, y'all? Today, I got a little bit of a Tiny Baby remake for you guys. You know, I was just listening to music as I always do, and I found this track right here called Trailblazer. And it goes really hard, so I wanted to do something similar. I think it's similar, so let's break it down. The first thing is this bass. So this bass is actually coming from my Patcherac that I made back in 2019. I'm actually pretty surprised that this is still relevant. Like it still sounds dope as fuck. So basically it's, if you look at the back end, it's just this synth right here. A lot of bit of a triangle wave and a little bit of noise. And that's going through, you know, some processing. We've got the wave shaper all the way up and that's this effect right here. We've got the color all the way up and that's uh, basically these blood overdrives right here. We've got a little bit of the release up and we've got the ring modulation at a very low setting. And this is what is creating that, well, I consider that cool modulated movement in the sound. So if I were to take it off, bypass the ring modulation, the sound would be like that, uh, very static. But when I turn it on, it moves it. And I wanna point out that this setting right here where the ring modulation is affecting the sound, is um, very specific because if I were to play any other note, like let's say an F, that'll sound fucked up. As far as processing, we've got this other patch rack that I made. Uh, this is called my bass synth, no, this is my bass formidifier. And uh, basically the purpose of this uh, patch rack is to split the signal into two separate signals, uh, a low pass and a high pass signal. So that way I can mono the low uh, signal and uh, stereoize the higher signal. And that's basically what this is doing. If I were to turn it off, it sounds like that. So when I turn it on, it's really just beefing it up a lot. Maybe I should turn down the sub a little bit or maybe even some of that. Maybe it's a little bit too much. By the way, this project is available on Patreon. All that I'm side chaining under these drums. And these drums are from our sample pack, Tough Tones. Where I designed this uh, kick. The homie Joe B designed this super sick snare that I'm layering with some hi-hats and this percussive kind of weird thing that I resampled. I basically just grabbed the aluminum plates for my dog's food and I just hit it against the microphone and I resampled that a lot with uh, effects such as blood overdrive, low cuts, Wave shaper, transient processor, a limiter, as well as delay. After some resampling, that's me hitting the microphone and running that through those effects. And then I chopped it up to follow along the hats. An interesting point to these hats is the fact that they're not on grid, is that they're uh, completely off the grid. And I did that by holding Alt and just sliding it. You can also do the same thing in the piano roll if you are more comfortable doing that in the piano roll you can write it in here. Because this here, I think gives the track character. Cause if I were to play without it, right? And then if I play with it, So definitely all that swag is in the in the groove of this. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Leave some ideas in the comments for other videos and other music you want me to listen to and try to make. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.